Hi YouTubers, are you suffering with acne? It sucks, I know. I was suffering with acne for about seven months and it was hell. It was awful going to work, it was awful seeing friends, it was awful not wanting to go out, and just everything about it was terrible. So, I know how you're feeling. And I just want to let you know that there is hope and that um, there's someone else who understands and all of the, us who have suffered with anything that affects um, our appearance in some way, uh, our self-esteem like that, we understand. So I posted a video previously about the emotional aspects of acne and my acne healing journey. And I would say honestly, that's probably the most important thing. But if I could give uh, a set, the second most important things, uh, it's going to be in this video. These are the physical um, techniques, methods, or substances that I've taken to, to get rid of acne and the things that contributed most to the healing of my skin. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. The quick and dirty uh, list of things that I've taken or that I took that really made an impact for me. And the first one I'll just start off with because it's the most, it was the most influential for me. Um, so, and that would be this product right here. Zymatol. If you're into natural products, this is it, man. This is the one. Okay, so I don't know what exactly about this product did it for me, but uh, in here it says there is MSM, which is methyl sulfonyl methane, <laughs> G plus protease blend. So I also don't know what that is. Bromelian, amylase, lipase, papain, serapeptase, rutin. So these are, I think, mostly enzymes, digestive enzymes. Sorry, that's the show. Here we go. <laughs> Zymatol. Um, and so the digestive enzymes or the MSM, whatever, it's something in there. I've heard MSM before can sometimes contribute to um, acne clearing up. So that could have been the main thing in there for me that, that helped. So I would really... Um, you know, if it resonates with you and if you feel like this is something that you want to try, um, I'll post a link below for where you can get these. It's, I think it's lifeenthusiast.com or something like that. And um, I got this from my naturopath, so he was selling that at his clinic, but, um, but you can get these online too. And I ordered them online after I used up the ones that I had gotten from my naturopath. So... Um, they're a little bit on the expensive side, but to be honest, they were 100% worth it for me because, like, I had tried, um, if you're an acne sufferer, you probably watched 10 million videos, um, and there's probably, like, 50 different products that you've used that, if you're trying to do it the natural way, and even if you're not trying to do it the natural way, sometimes those things, I'm used to stop pulling this up now. <laughs> sometimes those things don't work right away so um, I'm sure you all have some experience trying multiple different things like I did and so the very first week that I started using Zymatol I started noticing my acne clearing like healing um, so not forming new ones and you know what that's like you always hope okay this this um, this is the day where I'm not going to get any new ones. And then, lo and behold, something pops up again. And so I'm sure you, know, you may be familiar with that feeling. And um, so when the very first week of starting to use the Zymatol, um, I actually um, noticed it healing. I noticed it. Um, 
not, I noticed my skin not forming new ones. So that was amazing. That was the first step of healing for me. Um, that along with not continuing to pop my, my zit. And, you know, at the beginning, when you first start getting acne, it's very tough not to because you're just like, oh no, okay, I just want to get rid of them. And then at one point, I feel like I may have just surrendered and like, okay, you know what? They're all over my face anyways. So I'm just going to let this whitehead just freaking be here. And you know, you can just freaking deal with it because I deal with it all day long. So um, that's how I felt talking uh, talking to myself about conversations. I make conversations <laughs> in my head to other people. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I would also um, suggest like maybe withholding the you know popping of your of your zits as well and that will help the healing process it might look really worse like the first couple days of not doing that but um after a while maybe even as short as like three or four days afterwards or a week maybe um hopefully you'll start to notice the difference so that is my number one tip i'll give you a couple more here in a second um, but that's my number one tip what the so I hope this is helpful to you if you try it out that would be amazing if my you know testimony could influence you in some way I would just love that and I would have never guessed this you know like when I went to my naturopath I, I never would have guessed that he would have suggested to take this but he did it was random but it it worked and so I did this, um, it says to take, oh shoot, that's hilarious, three per day. <laughs> wow, I took, <laughs> I took five three times a day. So that's what he recommended. And uh, I drank a shit load of water with this too. So um, again, that's another thing that could be, um, it assists your body's healing. Water is always a good idea. Always. And there's that. Um, got a few other suggestions here if you can hang in with me. Um, hope you can. If you were as desperate as I was, then you would. So another thing that I started doing is um, I started cleaning my brushes. I didn't even think of doing this. Um, I don't know why, but a bug here. Um, so yeah, just make sure you you know keeping normal, healthy, good hygiene. Clean your brushes um, at least once every two days, and probably if you're suffering with active acne, I would say every time you use it, just wash it with water and good quality soap. I use Dr. Bronner's soap. I think I'm freezing. Can I freeze it? Brushes. Set them out to dry and um, that can help. Wash your pillowcases once a week at least. And if not, you're just your pillowcase, your whole, all of your bedding at least once a week. Apparently that's just good. Good, you know practices anyways so um, I've been continuing to do that for the most part um, I bought this sonic clear I think is, that's what it's called freezing in hopefully that doesn't press. okay um, yeah so this thing it's amazing um, you don't realize how much you are not getting off of your face when you wash your face just once or even if you wash it twice but you don't wash it with like a brush like this um, just you know going over once over everything um, that helps I think that contributed as well so this was really a good thing to get if you can uh, I start. I changed my. I believe I changed my face lotion. Cetaphil. 
This is just a little travel one. Cetaphil I started using on my face, and so I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but apparently this is dermatologist recommended, so um, that could be just another addition if, um, if you want. Outside of the my essential ingredients here for clear skin, I keep looking at myself. I'm look at the camera. Let me try. Um, this also came with the the Sonic Clear, and I ended up um, I wasn't using this at first when my acne started first clearing up. I was using another thing that the dermatologist gave me, but it was filled with all kinds of blue dye and like I don't know stuff that I don't know what it was in there. Um, so I ideally wouldn't have wanted to use that, but at the time I was really desperate. So I was like, I'm going to use everything I can, but that, even that, the stuff that the dermatologist was giving me, this, that stuff alone was not helping. So just, um, those are some of the, uh, those, um, products that my dermatologist gave me, those probably helped in some way, but the noticeable change happened when I saw my dermatologist and started using this right away. Um, so I got, I also, I've just been using this, which came with the Sonic Clear, which is pretty cool. You get a little free gift there. And um, so I've just been using this to wash my face since my blue stuff ran out, almost ran out. Um, and it's been working well, pretty good. What I use for my dermatologist, um, if you're curious, if you are wanting a recommendation to provide to your dermatologist, something that you prefer to use. Um, gosh, I wish I knew what this was called, but Adaptaline Cream, 0.1%. So this was used at night. And Axone, which can be pretty expensive without a coupon, which you can get online for like, I think you can only spend like $10 on this, which is amazing. You're like $100 off, which is awesome. Axone, I was using this during the day or for in the mornings. Um, and so I, I just, yeah, I feel your pain, whatever um, your experience is with your acne. And uh, mine was actually, I think I might have mentioned this in the previous video, the emotional aspects of acne uh, and acne healing, which was huge for me. Huge. And, oh, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I love that. Kyle reference, everybody. Uh, oh, okay. So, um, just so that you might have a better understanding of the scope of my acne, I'll, I'll try to post uh, pictures. It didn't work super well for me the last time I tried to add pictures, but um, I was diagnosed with severe acne. So I went in and, and I think I said, oh, how bad, how bad is it to my dermatologist? She said, it's severe. Like, I would classify this as severe, like, whoa. Like, when you experience it, you think, oh, you know, you just wake up with it every day. And, and I think you don't, like, as it gradually builds on your face, you don't realize that it's, you know that it's bad, but you kind of sort of get used to it in your own weird way. And I thought, maybe moderate, you know, moderate. And she said very clearly, like, you have severe acne. Um. So honestly, I feel like it was an emotional journey for me more than anything else. And, uh, and it, it, it contributed so much to, I cleaned up my diet. Um, I, oh, oh, that's another big one too, is if you have not tried already, what my dermatologist, I mean, what my naturopath recommended was, um, to completely eliminate these three things, dairy, eggs, and gluten. So I was kind of like, eh, mm, eh, off and on, like experimenting with getting rid of those three things. But 
I was not making a commitment to not consume those those types of items. So when I made that for sure commitment in my head, I was like, okay. And the dermat I mean, the naturopath recommended it, so I was like, okay, um, just committing to this. And so I think, yeah. So that was another thing. The day that I went to the dermatologist, that was the last day I had any of those three items as well. And then that was the day that I started taking these. So in a week later, my, my face started actually healing as opposed to continuing to sprout new poopers on my face. So um, I hope this is helpful to you. Um, I'll also say when I, just another physical aspect of it was I was on antibiotics which was not helping. I was on something that started with an M. And I, I would say it, like, I knew that it didn't align with me. I knew that I wasn't supposed to be on an antibiotic or on some kind of um, drug, you know? I mean, I guess you could sort of, this is just a natural enzyme, so not a drug. But I, I knew in my soul that I was like, that's, this was not the way for me to go about my um, transformation or this was not the way for me to heal my body. I knew it. I knew it within my soul, within my heart. And so um, when I went to the naturopath, it just, it was almost like me confirming to myself that I, I'm, I'm listening to myself, you know, like. I'm going to take what my body and my heart and my, my mind even is telling me about what, what I need to do, and I'm going to take action on that. And so me going to the naturopath, so maybe for you that looks like um, maybe that's a something in you that you feel like, okay, this one thing has aligned with you. For a while but you haven't really fully committed to it like um, it might be something in your diet it might be um, wanting to do yoga or something in your spirit that's telling you that this is something that is um, more in alignment with who you are than what you have been doing so that could be another like spiritual aspect of what acne is because acne on your face is kind of symbolic of something that you're not facing and so one of those things for me was my commitment to natural health and um, wanting to just keep my whole body healthy, you know, not, not ruin and disrupt my internal um, state of balance just in order to clear up this face acne thing. I wanted to, you know, be in integrity as much as I could. So, um, yeah, I hope this video is helpful for you, and I just... Um, literally after I close this video, I'll, um, well, I'll just, I, I'll pray for you, and I know that sounds corny or whatever, but this is how I do, and <laughs> so, um, if you have any questions or comments, or if you want to share your experience down in the, in the comments, um, I would, um, I would love to read those, and, um, yeah, so, Give this video a like if you liked it, if it was helpful for you, and subscribe for more videos. Um, sometimes I'll be talking about um, acne, sometimes self-esteem, sometimes um, from trauma, other things um, that are interesting uh, to me, and sometimes health or meditation. So stay tuned, and I will hope to see you later.